So four years of building the Zen Core, now this processor, Ryzen, is in the hands of so many excited people out there. How does it feel? It feels absolutely great, JT. I mean, if you think about, you know, four years ago, we started with incredibly ambitious goals to build a leadership CPU for the market, and we absolutely accomplished that. You know, getting 52% IPC um, over our previous generation, you know, having incredible uh, performance and capability in a number of workloads. So yeah, it feels absolutely wonderful. There's been more than 300 reviews of Ryzen 7 at this point from every corner of the globe, essentially. That's almost information overload. What's your view, what's your take on Ryzen 7 at this point? There is an incredible amount of information out there about Ryzen, and I translate that into an incredible amount of excitement. But when you look overall, we're really pleased with where Ryzen is. If you think about on the IPC side, you know we exceeded our expectations in terms of where Ryzen is from an IPC standpoint. When you look at the power consumption, this is the best low power processor out there for an eight-core device. Um, when you look at the overall application performance, whether you're talking about content creation or video or productivity or gaming, you know, it's a great all-around experience from both just the the performance standpoint, the power standpoint, as well as the price performance you know, standpoint. So I'm really pleased with where it is. I think the other main message I want people to know is that we are extremely committed to building this Ryzen ecosystem. The Ryzen ecosystem is one that's gonna last for you know, many, many years to come, and it's only gonna get better with time. Do you have any updates for us on Ryzen 5? Today, what I can share is there are actually four products in the family. So there's a Ryzen 5 1600X is our flagship six core 12 thread device. We'll have a Ryzen 5 1600 as well sitting right beneath that. Then we'll have the Ryzen 5 1500X, which is the four core eight thread device. And we'll have a Ryzen 5 1400 right underneath that as well. And all of these Ryzen 5 processors will be with the AM4 motherboard and ecosystem. They're all unlocked and they'll all have Sense MI. Outstanding, so what more can you tell us? When will you see these products on shelf? Pricing, any other details you can give us? So I'm really excited to share today that Ryzen 5 will be on shelf worldwide on April 11th, so just a few short weeks away. And from a pricing standpoint, we really wanted Ryzen 5 to reach all of those users who want a very, very good and balanced experience between um, all the content and productivity as well as the gaming experience. Ryzen 5 1600X, our flagship, will be sitting at 249. Ryzen 5 1600 will be at 219. Ryzen 5 1500X will be at 189, and then the entry price point, the Ryzen 5 1400, will be at 169. So we really have a full portfolio, if you look now with Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7, hitting the majority of price points that are important in the PC market. Lisa, we are here in the engineering building. I know one of your favorite things is to go and visit the lab, see product bring up, see product testing. I've done that with you once or twice before. Any chance we can do that again today? JT, that'll be really fun. Let's go take a look at what's in the lab. Great. Hi there. Oh, hey, Lisa. Hey, Great Tony. to see you. How are you? Hey, I was about to kick off a test. Maybe you'd like to check this out. All right, let's take hey. a look. So I'm running here is the latest version of Blender. Uh, what we've got on the right side here is the 1600X. Okay. On the left side, we've got the Competition 7600K. Uh, what you're going to see here visually is you see the the awesomeness that we get from having more cores and threads versus the competition. You're seeing visually that we've already got an advantage. At the end of this particular yeah. test, you'll see that uh, our timestamps are a lot faster than theirs. 1600X is looking good. Oh, it's looking fantastic. I guess six cores and 12 threads really help. Oh, it certainly does. And so what you see there is we just finished up at about 32 seconds. Competition is uh, taking its time there to reach the finish line. Current pace it's at, it's looking like it's gonna come in roughly at about the 50-ish second mark, and to be exact, they come in at just under 52 seconds. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Tony. You're more than welcome. All right, let's see what else we have here. Robert, how are you? Hey, I'm good, how are you, Lisa? Nice to see you. Yeah, likewise. What we do have, we have? Okay, we have an interesting setup here. We've been working pretty hard on getting faster memory tuned on Ryzen. We know consumers want that. Uh, so we've got Ryzen 7 1800Xs on both. This one is running DDR4-2133, sort of the out-of-box configuration for that memory. And then on the right, we're running DDR4-2933. So faster memory kit, out-of-the-box settings on that memory stick. Okay. 
and we're running F1 2016 okay. uh, benchmark at 1080p. All right. Uh, and the hope is that uh, we'll see higher scores off the DDR4 2933. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what we're going to see. Great. And we've seen that there's a lot of optimization that we can do with uh, Ryzen 7 1800X. That's right. There's uh, there's some software configuration things that, that people can be doing. Uh, certainly faster memory is, is going to be of big help to the Ryzen 7 family. So uh, us getting faster memory running is going to be a, a big deal for consumers. And uh, we're just finished up here on the 2933 and now on the 2133. And we see a delta of 16 extra frames per second just by going to DDR4. 2933. That's a great result. That's a great result. Thanks, Robert. Of course. All right, let's see what we have down sure. here. You want to join me? Yes. A lot of fun going on here. We're playing Overwatch. Okay. We're going to compare our Ryzen 5 1600X here on the right to the competitor's 7600K. So this is 1080p gaming, very popular resolution, very popular game. And Robert and myself are going to run through and see how this works. So Robert, All jump right. in here and let's take a look at this frames per second. So this is we're looking for 120 frames per second or better because this is a 120 hertz panel. So we really want to have a nice fast frame rate to make sure we're above that refresh rate, getting the most amount of detail, getting the most amount of reaction time out of the PC while you're gaming. So as we're looking through here, we're watching these frames per second. I'm seeing, we're even during these big explosions, you know, 120, 130 frames per second, which should be pretty similar to you, Robert. Yeah, I'm getting in the high 118, 119, sometimes in the mid 120s. Right. Oh, really good. Yeah, it's nice and fluid and smooth. Uh, Ryzen is definitely delivering a great gaming experience here. It's very smooth for the for players, and it's basically getting the PC out of the way. So it's you in the game. You're having a great experience doing everything you want to do, not having to worry about you know your hardware choices limiting you. That looks fantastic, guys. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's great to play on Ryzen 5, and I can't wait to see it in the market. Fantastic. Thanks, James. Thanks, Robert. Yep, thank you. Yeah, guys, thanks for me too, Lisa. And yeah, thanks to you for letting me come in here and check out all these cool demos. That was awesome. You know, it was a lot of fun. I think the main message is that Ryzen 7 is doing great. Ryzen 5, we're just a few weeks away. And, you know, it's going to be great to have millions more people using Ryzen in the ecosystem.